So we've gotten started with SlideShare. We did some research and we created an account and kind of fooled with our profile a little bit. In this video, the basics, uh, real straightforward. I'm going to show you how to upload your own PowerPoint or PDF file. And then I'm going to show you a little bit about how to go into other people's presentations and how to favorite them and how to download them. All right, real simple. Uh, here I am on my profile page. If I click here, I can upload a presentation or a document or a video. You can also click this upload button. You can upload either publicly or privately. Uh, if you do it privately, you won't be able to embed it. Um, and so usually I, I click on publicly here, unless it's something I want private. I also want to note here that uh, the file size limit is 100 megs, which covers most presentations I've ever seen. Alright, click on upload publicly. I'm just going to go ahead and pick one of these old, old ones that I've had here. Um, it is now uploaded. You see it uploaded pretty quickly. This is a pretty small file. Make sure that you give a good title. I think this is an old counting with kindergarten file. Choose a category. Click here if you want them, uh, the public to be able to download the file. And then when you or your students are using this, make sure you give a good description. Lots of detailed descriptions here. That helps people know what they're downloading. I'm going to click Save Changes. And while this is converting, I'm going to go out to the main SlideShare web page here. And I want to show you how to take a file or a presentation that's out here and download it and favorite it. I'm just going to choose one of these. I'm just going to do... Oh, I'll do the one that's up the top here. New Era of Expressive Research. Again, show you again that you can uh, click through. You can also make it full screen, which is nice. Now, if, there, if you find one in your research, or your students find one in your research that you'd like to uh, hang on to, you want to click on this Favorite button. And what will that will do? That will save it right to your favorites. It says it's been favorited. You can also click on this Download button. That will download the file itself. I'm downloading the presentation. Depending on your browser, it will download however it downloads. In Chrome, i got to come down here and hit Save. And this one's actually a PDF. So if I click on the PDF, it'll bring it right up. Uh, PowerPoints work the same way. Now just to show you that that got favorited, I'm going to come back here to my public profile. And where you're going to find that is under your public profile and going to favorites. You can now see that this one I've got here, I can get right back to it if I need to. I can delete it if I need to. And what that will do is, if you've got a bunch of favorites here, it's just an, a really quick and easy way to find the presentations you like and how to store them so that you don't lose them for later. Alright, I'm going to come back down here and I'm going to go to my uploads just to see if I got my uh, file converted yet. It is not quite converted yet and that's okay. Uh, but once, that, once these are converted, uh, this won't say work in progress anymore, it'll have a little thumbnail of your presentation and then you'll be able to work with it. And speaking of working with it, that's exactly what we'll do in the next video. And beyond the basics, I'll show you a little bit about how to work with your presentations to embed them in other places, um, how to do a live kind of webcast, and how to link to them so that other people can see them. Mm -hmm.